Members of Parliament Local Area Development Scheme MPLADS is a scheme formulated by Government of India on 23 December 1993 that enables the Members of Parliaments MP to recommend developmental work in their constituencies with an emphasis on creating durable community assets based on locally felt needs. Initially, this scheme was administered by Ministry of Rural Development. Later, in October 1994, Ministry of Statistics and Program Implementation has been looking into its working. Elected members of Rajya Sabha representing the whole of the state as they do, may select works for implementation in one or more districts as they may choose. Nominated members of the Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha may also select works for implementation in one or more districts, anywhere in the country. MPs can also recommend work of up to 25 lakh rupees per year outside their constituency or state of election to promote national unity, harmony and fraternity. MPs can recommend work of up to 25 lakh for natural calamity in the state and up to 1 crore rupees in the country in case of calamity of severe nature e.g. tsunami, major cyclones and earthquakes. A state-level nodal department is chosen, which is responsible for supervision and monitoring and maintaining coordination with line departments. District authorities DAS sanction the work recommended by MPs, sanction funds, identify implementation agency and user agency, implement the work on ground, transfer assets to user agency, and report back to ministry about status of MPLADS in the district. Each MP is allocated 5 crore rupees per year since 2011-12 which has been increased from 5 lakh rupees in 1993-94 and 2 crore rupees in 1998-99. MOSPI disburses funds to district authorities, not directly to MPs. This annual entitlement is released conditionally in two installments of 2.5 crore rupees each. Funds are non-lapsable in nature i.e. in case of non-release of fund in a particular year it is carried forward to the next year. MPs need to recommend work worth at least 15% and 7.5% of their funds to create assets in areas inhabited by scheduled castes and scheduled tribes respectively. Funds for MPLADS can be converged with Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employment Guarantee Scheme MGNREGS for creating more durable assets and with National Programme for Development of Sports Kilo India. Infrastructure development on land belonging to registered societies, trusts is permissible, provided the society, trust is engaged in social welfare activity, and is in existence for three years. No more than 50 lakh rupees for one or more works in the lifetime of the society, trust can be spent. MPLADS funding is not permissible for those societies where the concerned MP and his, her family members are office bearers. For societies or charitable homes which look after deprived segments of the society, the relaxed grant is 1 crore rupees. 
as on the 2nd of July 2018. 47,572.75 crores have been released by GOI since 1993 of which 94.99% have been utilized under the scheme. Presently close to 4,000 crores are disbursed annually for MPLADS scheme. Top 5 states with highest utilization to released fund ratio are Telangana 101.42%, Sikkim 100.89%, Chhattisgarh 99.6%, Kerala 99.3% and West Bengal 98.65%. The bottom five states are Uttarakhand 87.22%, Tripura 88.46%, Jharkhand 88.93%, Rajasthan 90.16% and Odisha 90.54%. Top Union Territories UT, with highest utilization to released fund ratio are Lakshadweep, 111.68%, Andaman and Nicobar Islands, 105.68%, and Delhi, 104.1%. For the current year 2017-2018, majority spending of MPLADS funds happened in two sectors, railways, roads, pathways and bridges 43%, and other public activities 23%. Education, health, water and sanitation sectors received less funding. Type of recommended work, works which will serve greater public purpose and not purpose of few individuals need to be recommended. MPs can only recommend, but district authorities have the ultimate power to sanction it. Key priority sectors, drinking water facility, education, electricity facility, non-conventional energy resources, healthcare and sanitation, irrigation facilities, railways, roads, pathways and bridges, sports, agriculture and allied activities, self-help group development, urban development. Works not permitted, construction of office and residential buildings for public and private agencies, land acquisition or paying compensation, naming assets after individuals, grants or loans to state, central relief fund, assets for individual benefits, works on lands belonging to religious groups, execution of works in unauthorized colonies. Other works permitted, construction of railway halt station, providing CCTV camera in strategic locations, installation of bio-digesters at stations, schools, hospitals, provision for fixed weighing scale machines for farmers, installation of rainwater harvesting systems in public spaces, construction of shelters for skill development. Since start there have been reports of malpractices in running the scheme and there have been demands to scrap it. In 2006, a scandal was exposed by a TV channel, that showed MPs taking bribe for handing over project work under the MPLADS. A seven-member committee was set up to probe the matter. Some new guidelines for MPLADS were announced by MOSPI. Projects implemented by government agencies would now be provided 75% of the project cost as the first installment, while those implemented by non-governmental agencies would be provided 60%. 
for smaller projects costing less than 2 lakh rupees, 2900 United States dollars, the entire amount would be released at one go. No project costing less than 1 lakh rupees, 1400 United States dollars would be sanctioned with exception in the case of essential projects such as installation of hand pumps and purchase of computers and their accessories, solar electric lamps, chapels and equipments. The basket of works that could be taken up under the scheme had been widened to include projects such as the purchase of books for libraries, and ambulances and hearse vans that would be owned and controlled by district authorities. The purchase of Microsoft Office software along with the training of two teachers per school would be now allowed as part of an effort to promote computer literacy in the country. Guidelines are given to maintain transparency of work done. 1. A plaque should be permanently erected at the workplace mentioning MP's name, year, cost involved, etc. 2. List of complete and ongoing works under MPLADS should be displayed at District Authority Office and MPLADS website www.mplads.gov.in. 3. Citizens can file RTI to know about the status of funds and work. 4. Funds utilized should be audited by chartered accountants, local fund auditors, or any statutory auditors as per state UTGOVT, procedure. 5. Review meetings should be held by MOSPI in states and center regarding fund utilization under MPLADS scheme. 6. Respective district authorities should also review work implementation with the implementation agency every month, or at least once in a quarter. Topic: One MP, one idea. The Ministry of Statistics and Program Implementation has announced a new scheme, one MP, one idea, under the Member of Parliament Local Area Development Scheme, MPLADS. Based on the innovative ideas received from the local people regarding developmental projects, and one MP, one idea competition may be held in each Lok Sabha constituency annually to select the three best innovations for cash awards on the specific request of an MP to promote such a scheme in his, her constituency. This competition, launched at constituency level annually, selects the best models for education, skill building, energy and environment, housing, etc. Individuals, groups, NGOs, industry, and academia can take part in this competition. 0.15% money spent SC community areas and 7.5% fund spend street community areas. Topic. Issues with MPLADS Topic. Optimum citizen participation MPLADS is projected as having the character of decentralized development founded on the principle of participatory development, but there is no indicator available to measure the level of participation. While the website features details on fund utilization and status of recommended works, the question of participation remains in dark. 
there is also no indication how locally felt needs were ascertained. Controller and Auditor General CAG of India a body which audits the receipts and expenditures of the central and state governments, and bodies funded by them observed in its 2010 report that participation of various constituents in a MP's constituency such as residence forum or local NGOs were ignored to understand local needs. Topic. MPLADS as political mileage for elections A study published in 2017 show that during 15th Lok Sabha term 2009 MPs, irrespective of party ideology, spent less in the beginning of the term. Majority of the unspent balance and new funds were spent in the last year of the term. Clearly, MPs are using MPLADS as political mileage to be gained during elections. Yearly expenditure, percent utilization of funds over sanctioned and percent completed work over sanctioned increases during the last year of the Lok Sabha term. Non-lapsable funds also catalyst this behavior. Topic. Insufficient monitoring of sanctioned works There is a guideline that district authorities should monitor the sanctioned works, but there is no measurable indicator specified for monitoring. Monitoring activities are also not mentioned in the annual reports. There is no indication of monitoring of asset condition after immediate completion of work and after asset utilization for stipulated time. Implementation agencies should hand over utilization certificate to the district authorities. However CAG 2010 found that many implementation agencies did not submit utilization certificates. Topic. CAG report on MPLADS CAG conducted performance audit of 128 district authorities of 35 states, UTs for the period 2004–05 to 2008–09 and published a report in 2010. They observed, flouting of rules and corruption. Cases of faulty sanction of works were found where DOS sanctioned work without recommendation from MPs, or at a higher cost than estimated. In almost 100 districts, funds were utilized to create non-permissible assets such as office buildings for GOVT, or private entities, works for religious institutions, etc. In 10 states, costs sanctioned for registered societies, trusts exceeded the ceiling of Rs. 25 locks. In nine states, UTs, MPs directly recommended an implementation agency, which is against the norms. Unspent funds. In 11 states, UTs, unfruitful expenditure worth Rs. 8.50 crore was incurred due, as incomplete works were suspended or abandoned. Unspent balances left by predecessor Raja Sabha MPs in 10 states were not carried forward to the new MPs. Delays in sanctioning works were found. Lack of monitoring. 90% of audited district authorities did not maintain asset, work register. 
ministry could not ensure timely receipt of monthly progress reports. Functioning of state-level monitoring committees was questionable. 86 district authorities of 23 states, UT did not inspect any work in the period 2004–05 to 2008–09. 